Hi, I'm Renee Bull. I work at Pfizer Pharmaceuticals in Portage, Michigan. Have you ever been to the beach or the playground and noticed how sand just sucks the water right in? Well, that's because sand is hydrophilic. That means it loves water. But I have this green sand here. It's called magic sand. And the package says that it doesn't get wet at all. That's because it has a nanoscopic, that means really small, coating on it that repels water. It's hydrophobic. It means water fearing. I've been to the beach before. This doesn't seem right. Let's do an experiment to see if this is really true. First, we're gonna need to gather some supplies. I have some sand from the playground. I have my magic sand. I have two jars with some water in it and lids, a scoop and a spoon. So let's get started. This is just regular water from the tap and I'm gonna take some of this sand and pour it in here. Ooh, it gets kind of cloudy, but a lot of the sand goes right to the bottom. Let's try the magic sand. Well, it goes to the bottom too, but it's not cloudy and it's kind of clumped up. Maybe I need to add some more. Well, that's different. Hmm, maybe I need to, need to mix it up some. Let's add the lids. Put the lid on tight before you shake it. Ooh, that's still cloudy. And you can see on the bottom that sand is gathering all together. It looks pretty wet to me. Let's try that magic sand. Shake, shake, shake. I'll shake it extra. It went to the bottom now, but it's still clumpy and it has a silver sheen on it. It looks like there's air bubbles in there. Hmm, that's a lot different. Let's take some out and put it on paper towel. This is where my spoon comes in. The playground sand is kind of hard to get out of there. Looks wet to me, just like when I go to the beach. Let's put some magic sand out on the paper towel. That was really easy to scoop out. But wait a minute. It doesn't seem wet at all. It's like it was never in the water. Weird. It must be hydrophobic. That's science magic. Now I mentioned earlier that you can make this at home. So you can make your own magic sand using Scotch guard and playground sand and an aluminum pan. But you're gonna need help from an adult. You're gonna wanna go outside where there's lots of ventilation. Pour your sand into the pan in a thin layer. Spread it out good. Then take your Scotch Guard or Camp Dry and put a thin layer right on the sand. Don't do it too thick or it'll take a long time to dry. Let it sit outside and dry for a while. Then you're gonna shake the pan to stir it up and spray it again. You do that a few times with your parents or an adult's help. And then after about three or four times and it's good and dry, you're ready to experiment at home. You might be wondering, why are nano coatings important? Where do we use them out in the world? Well, we use them at Pfizer to produce extended release medicines. Those coatings help that medicine get out little by little instead of all at once. It's also used for car wax and oil spill cleanup. Pretty cool and important technology. 
Well, now you know how to make magic sand at home. Have fun, fellow scientists.